experimental multi-purpose guided missile of air to ground class JAGM is designed to engage armored targets, patrol ships, artillery systems, missile launchers, positions of radar stations, control and communication centers, fortifications, infrastructure facilities of settlements and administrative centers of the enemy. The development of a single unified air-based missile in the interest of the U.S. Army, Navy, and Marine Corps under the Joint Air to Ground Missile Program has been underway since 2007. Two groups of companies participate in the development of JAGM through competitive bidding led by Lockheed Martin and Raytheon as lead developers. JAGM is a continuation of the AGM-169 Joint Common Missile Program completed in 2007. Initially, the U.S. Army planned to pay for the development of the missile by both companies, but due to budget constraints from 2011 chose only one developer, Lockheed Martin. Raytheon continues to develop with its own funds, but it is not ruled out that its work can be resumed from the budget. Thus, the general name JAGM at present, in fact, means two separate projects, the degree of unification of which is unknown. The JAGM missile is designed to replace the existing AGM-114 liters Hellfire Longbow XGM-71 tow, AGM-65 Maverick systems and is characterized by greater efficiency, range, operational flexibility, high level of support and lower cost compared to the prototypes. According to the development specification, JAGM is scheduled to be placed on the following media. F A 18E F Super Hornet Fighter of the US Navy, the A 64D Apache Longbow, the MH 60R Seahawk Reconnaissance Helicopter of the US Navy, US Marine Corps A 1Z Super Cobra Attack Helicopter, the MQ 1 Degrees Celsius Gray Eagle, the O 58 CASUP Attack Reconnaissance Helicopter, Army Multi Purpose Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. Sky Warrior. F-35 Lightning II Fighter. The JAGM missile is scheduled to begin arriving in 2016 as part of the Army's AH-64D helicopter, Marine Corps A-1Z attack helicopter, and F-A-18E divided by F fighter aircraft. The Super Hornet fighter can carry up to 18 JAGM guided missiles as opposed to four Maverick missiles. According to preliminary information, only at the initial stage the ground forces Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps are going to purchase about 35,000 JAGM, and the total number of purchased missiles may reach 100,000. The full cost of the program is about $7 billion. Composition. According to published information, the JAGM program was restructured in early 2012 due to budget cuts with the following phases. Stage 3, development of a new engine that provides a firing range of up to 16 kilometers and the launch of JAGM missiles from helicopters and multi-purpose jet aircraft. Stage 1, creation of a dual-channel homing head, combining a laser semi-active and radar homing circuit of the millimeter range, and integration of the new homing head with the Hellfire 2 missile unit and the AGM-114R multi-purpose combat unit. Stage 2, equipping the JAGM missile with a new three-channel GSN, which combines radar, laser semi-active, and thermal homing channels, increasing the flight range to 12 kilometers. Phase 3, development of a new engine that provides a range of up to 16 kilometers, and the launch of JAGM from helicopters and multi-purpose jets.